What are the key messages of the SREX report? There are many. The SREX report is full of very important information. I'm just going to quote for you two points. Even without taking climate change into account, disaster risk will continue to increase in many countries as more vulnerable people and assets are exposed to weather extremes. And I think that's very important to note. The next that I think is really important is existing risk management measures need to be improved in many countries. We all have to do better. What are the implications of the report for policymakers, particularly in developing countries where climate change is really starting to bite? I think this is an interesting question, but let me start by sharing two small examples from the case studies chapter of which I am the first author. The first I'd like to share is definitely in, in a developing country, in Mozambique. We looked at the terrible floods they had in 2000 Present. and compared it with their floods in 2007. The differences that were made in early warning, in preparedness, in understanding the issues were so enormous that in 2007 many fewer died. So we know that with good disaster risk reduction and good disaster risk management, the impact can be in invaluable. But let me also take you to a developed country, France, another of our case study examples. Here we compared the heat wave in 2003 with 2006 and showed exactly the same, that by focusing on a particular issue, developing disaster risk reduction, disaster risk management and appropriate systems relating to that, you can save many lives. So it's not just developing countries that need to learn. I feel that each country's capacity that requires a national risk management process, that these systems include national and sub-national governments, the private sector, research bodies and the civil society, including community-based organisations. These are key. And as a health representative, public health, my healthcare colleagues must be included. Now, what is the international framework for managing disaster risk? And Virginia, do you think the SREX reports could influence that framework? The international framework for disaster risk reduction is known as the Hyogo Framework for Action. The Hyogo Framework for Action was signed in 2005. It runs to 2015. It focuses on building the resilience of nations and communities to disasters. It has five key points all the way from governance, to early warning, to education, to infrastructure improvements, and finally to disaster risk management. SREX is key to all of these in building the evidence to make sure that countries can enhance their ability for disaster risk reduction. Do you see the climate change development and disaster risk frameworks coming together at international level in the next three years? I do indeed. We have a wonderful opportunity. Because the Hyogo Framework for Action ends in 2015, we're now working on a post-2015 instrument. And there is a real desire now to bring all these opportunities to enhance our disaster risk reduction systems together much more clearly and in a much more focused way.